Not that you really need to seduce that thing. She'd be all over you quickly. <laughs> yeah, she'd be on top of you very fast. Snicky won't snooze you! So let's see what's going on with. Hey, see, I did it again. I can show you around if you like. I can show you. Snooky won't snooze you! Um, maybe I would just get in the way. You. I don't see how. Your voice sounds incredibly familiar. Holy crap. Not at all. We'd appreciate it. Wow, so you do actually smile on occasion. Little girls makes tear happy, excuse the nose sniffling. Excuse me? Oh, please don't fight. Come on, Luke, let's go. Her voice still sounds incredibly familiar. Anise has joined the party. Whoa, 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 she's level four, meaning she's probably gonna stick with me. Her arch, Dragon Surge. Oh, sorry, I just sort of always check things out like this. Knock the enemy skyward with a powerful punch and limited mid. I guess it's a mid art casting thing. Drop a glowing pillar of light onto the target enemy. Call the cops. <laughs> that should be one of her abilities. <laughs> so Luke, where do you want to go? What? Where? Well, I don't know anything about this ship, so what's on it? Well, there's my bedroom, and there's there's the sex office. I can't, I'm really bad at coming up with things like that, I don't know, and, I, I, and a bunch of rooms for everyone to sleep in. That's it? Doesn't sound very interesting. That's it? It doesn't. Well, the Tartarus is a battleship, so you can't really compare it to a cruiser liner. How, how about the engine room? It's great if you're into fun tech. Or I thought it said foot fetish there for a second. Uh, no, that's okay. I don't know anything about, oh, Colonel Jade and might want you to get so basically all I can do is wander around the hallways yeah great place or shut up you guys are talking too fast for me to read in weird voices I hope you're happy Fire! <laughs> Fire! oh whoa 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 I intended to end the episode a lot earlier so huh what's that okay so this is the second episode <laughs> yeah okay it's a phone stone they're making it glow by heating it they must use it for lighting here Interesting. It's a phone light bulb. Phone stones are those glass rocks floating up in the sky, right? Phone stones are sacred stones created when the score is red. Don't call them glass. S when the score is red. Okay, so if I find out my score and I read it aloud, I'll get some more phone stones. All right, all right. Sounds good to me. So yeah, I think I might actually um pause the game a second. We're just gonna leave it. Luke staring at the screen. Okay, let's go. That probably didn't look like much time passed for you, but a little bit of time passed for me. Let's enter this room. Can I enter here, Anise? This is my bedroom, Luke! Would you like to see my stuffed animals? Is this the room I came from? <laughs> yeah, recruit Tooney, did you do it again? I'm sorry, stop catching me masturbating. What were you doing? I want to become a fauner, so I've been practicing with my penis. Fuck, my penis is big in the country. So a soldier who can't use his penis is an embarrassment. <laughs> How do you use penises anyway? Can I use mine too? You, you take your balls from underneath your belt into your body and then collide your penis frequency with their own, generating special power. <laughs> the... the the belt is a layer of phone horns that surrounds the planet. There are six phone horn elements at all. By opening your body phone slots. <laughs> God, this is getting worse. <laughs> you, you draw in the phone horns and join them, them together We're using a phone verse. Only girls have phone slots, though. Eh, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Okay, basically, a phonic art uses the spell a phone verse to control the elemental phone powers called phone horns. It's very difficult. Colonel Jade could do it like he was nothing. He's a genius! How old is man? Okay, please explore, feel free to explore everywhere but the bridge. Great, thank you. Thank you for that information. Huh, so it's pretty fun to actually explore something instead of constantly combat. Though I am gonna have to cut out some of the loading screens pretty long. Ooh, treasure chest! Found an apple gel. Oh boy. 
I still think I'm going to be teaming up with Anise for now. And she's not as bad as I thought she was. Now that she's hitting on me, I don't mind her so much. It's always cute to have little girls hit on you. She's probably like 26 or something though, but you know. Yeah. It's okay because my wife's a little girl too. She's very tiny. It's true. She's like four foot six or something like that. Hey, Ion, how's it going? I'm sorry for getting you involved in this. No kidding. If you'd at least tell me what's going on. I'm afraid I'm influencing the situation as well. <laughs> I'm sure you're influencing a lot That's of things. That's why Jade is being so cautious. Because the Order of Lorelei is acting as a go-between. Yes, that's part of it, but I'm afraid I can't tell you yet. Are you taking sides? Isn't the Order of Lorelei supposed to be some neutral thing? This is such a pain. I guess not. When you look at me, you feel something oddly familiar, and when I kiss you, it's like I'm kissing my brother. That, that was a failed um, Back to the Future reference. <laughs> ah, sorry, stupid nose. Well, well, Luke. Lovely lady on each arm. Yeah, I'm pretty popular with the ladies. Anise is way too happy. Oh, Colonel. I... I'm not... We're not... Jade not earned some respect you. back. You must mean Annis and Mew. Dude, Mew's a guy, isn't he? But Master, I'm a boy! Dude, you don't have a penis. Sort of. You sure as hell don't sound like one. You say that to Mew, but you don't say that to Ion. You make no sense. Now, now, settle down. Earlier. How should I know? You people from Malkuth are the ones who kidnapped me. It was probably a lie, Luke. Well, I'm afraid I don't know anything about it. Did it happen during the previous Emperor's reign? Huh. Beats me. Thanks to that, I lost all my childhood memories. Why don't you tell him how long ago it happened, you freak? And maybe I'm sure something you could have happen. Your grievances, but I do hope that we can obtain your cooperation. Uh. Memory loss, could it be? Dot dot dot. I'm not gonna tell you because that'd give away too much this early in the game. <laughs> Climbing the ladder is funny to me. I really need to stop the recording, like pretty soon. I'm 30 minutes in, but this would be an incredibly boring episode if I stop now. Uh, whoa, this thing is huge. That's what she said. So yeah. I'm just. I did it again. So yeah. I'm gonna start counting. So yeah my things. Like, every time I do a weird voice and make another real reference or something like that, it goes, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, cheese, so cheese, cheese god, god of cheese, everyone knows the cheese god, la la la, dee 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 dee, oh, 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 cheesy goodness from everyone, from the god cheese to you and me. Everybody loves the land dreadnoughts, but I can travel over water too, not just land! Yes, now let's step to the door and go into the thing. This door leads to the bridge, the interior of the bridge is a state secret, but for we can't permit you to enter. And it teleports me backwards just in case I find a way to shimmy my way through just like you can in the penguin in Super Mario 64 at the first world and then you slide down the thingy and yeah. <sighs> so yeah, let's climb up this ladder. This ladder's for deck maintenance. Climbing can be dangerous if you're not used to it, so please stay away. I can actually see climbing that ladder being dangerous, so I'll, I'm gonna listen to him. Let's see me my way down. I think I'm actually gonna skip back to Marco and see what he says. See you guys there. I promised Marco I protect him, and now he's dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Unreleased video game reference. Do you wish, wish to speak with Colonel Jade? Darn. Okay. You hit the wrong button. Let's try this again. Do you wish to speak with Colonel Jade? I was just speaking with him. Okay. Understood. Are you sure? You won't get anywhere if you don't hear what he has to say. I've been locked up till now, so as long as you take me to Batacle, I don't care. You don't take anything seriously. Shut up already. I don't take anything seriously in real life. It's not so bad, dear. Well, I do take some stuff seriously. Small localized conflicts have broken out recently. It's likely those will soon escalate into full-scale war. Small localized conflicts. After all, the truce for the hard war is only 15 years old. Emperor Peony has written a letter <laughs> proposing a formal peace treaty. Emperor Peony. They Sorry. requested my aid as a neutral ambassador. 
Peony is not a good n name. It's also not a good word to say. I realize it's type of flower or something like that. If that's the case, then why do people think you've gone missing? Master Van went looking for you, you know. <laughs> Master Van went looking for you, you know. I was gonna go to Tashi Station to pick up the power converters. That's due to matters within the Order of Lorelei. A conflict is unfolding between the reformist phone master faction uh. centered around Ion and the conservative Grand Maestro faction centered around Grand Maestro Mo. Moe's is looking for a war. I managed to escape from Moe's custody with the help of the Malkuth military. Phone Master Ion, there must be some mistake. Grand Maestro Moe's would never desire such a thing. This is starting to get controversial Moe's for my liking. Moe's only for the fulfillment of the score. What's here? Duh. You're with the Grand Maestro faction? No way! Well, if he wants more score, war is the way to do it. He'll just jump on everyone's head and start getting score. Until you start getting one-ups, and then you don't get much score. Yulia's score is important, but so are the oh my phone God. master's wishes. My nose. Hey guys, swear to God. hello. You want to slow down so I can follow? I agree with Luke here. I'd forgotten the young master here hasn't a clue about the world around him. What did you say? It's good that we have an ignorant main character, because then I can understand. Regardless the state of affairs within the Order, I must deliver this letter to Kim Laska. Okay. We are the soldiers of an enemy nation. Even as emissaries of peace, it won't be easy for us to cross the border. Okay. If we delay, the Grand Maestro faction will catch up with us and interfere. And that's where I come in. That is why we need your help. Well, really, we just need your social status. You want to use me as a passport? Oh, it's not going to work. Heard Gramps, is that all I'm good Gramps, for? Gramps, he's not that old. He's just like in his early thirties, by the look Didn't of it. Didn't anyone ever teach you to bow your head in respect when asking someone for a favor? <laughs> bow your head in respect sounds hot. Don't act like that, Luke. You don't want a war either, do you? Would you shut up already? Well, <sighs> he's going to do it. He just wants to see Luke, or he just Commander. wants to see J Jade bend over. Commander, Master Luke. Please grant us your aid. Man, do you have any pride? What is wrong with you? None so cheap as to be shaken by something as petty as this, sir. Fine, whatever. You just need me to talk to my uncle, right? You have my deepest gratitude. Now, by your leave, Master Luke, I must attend to other matters. Stop calling me Master. Coming from you, it's just wrong. Sexy. I thought he said how I have to attend to other masters. I'm like, oh. As you wish, Master Luke. Dude, I want that title. I want to be called Master. Master, I was Master once. I got ran over by a truck. They buried me in a graveyard. There were slaves. Ew, I hate slaves. They drive me Master. Master, I was Master once. I got ran over by a truck. They buried me in a graveyard. I ended the episode. Bye.